What's up everyone, welcome back to another Bible reading. Uh, we're going to continue where we left off. <clears throat> Hate evil, love God. Love good. Uh, maintain justice in the courts. Perhaps the Lord God Almighty will have mercy on the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the Lord God Almighty says. There will be wailing in all the streets and cries of anguish in every public square the farmers will be summoned to weep and the mourners to wail there will be wailing in all the vineyards for i will pass through your midst says the lord woe to you who long for the day of the lord why do you long for the day of the lord that day will be darkness, not light. It will be as tough as though a man fled from a lion, only to meet a bear. As though he entered his house and rested his head on the wall, only to have a snake bite him. Will not the day of the Lord be darkness, not light, pitch dark without a ray of brightness? I hate, I despise, your religious fest festivals, your assemblies are a stench to me. Even though you bring me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offerings, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps, but let justice roll on like a river. Righteousness like a never-failing stream. Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings? Forty years in the wilderness, people of Israel. You have lifted up the sh shrine of your king. The pedestal of your idols. The star of your god. Which you made for yourselves. Therefore, I will send you into exile. Beyond Damascus says the Lord, whose name is God Almighty. Woe, woe to you who are complacent in Zion, and to you who feel secure on Mount Samaria. You note notable men of the foremost nation to whom the people of Israel come. Go to Nalia, Nal Nalnia and look at it. Go from there to Great Hamath, and then go down to Gath in Phil Philistia, and they better off than your two kingdoms. Is their land larger than yours? You put off the day of disaster and bring near a reign of terror. You lie on beds adorned with ivory You and lounge on your couches. You dine on choice lambs and fattened cows, calves. You strum away on your harps like David and improvise on musical instruments. You drink wine by the bowl full and use the finest lotions. But you do not grieve over the ruin of Joseph. Therefore, you will be among the first to go into exile. Your feasting and lounging will end. The Sovereign Lord has sworn by himself, the Lord God Almighty declares, I abhor the pride of Jacob and detest his fortresses. I will deliver up the city and everything in it. If ten people are left in one house, they too will die. And if the relative who comes to carry the bodies out of the house to burn them asks, asks anyone who might be hiding there is anyone else with you and he says no then he will go on to stay and to say hush we must not mention the name of the lord for the lord has given the command and he will smash the great house into pieces and the small house into bits do hor <clears throat> do horses run on the rocky crags does one plow the sea with oxen? Do you 
but you have turned justice into poison and the fruit of righteousness into bitterness. You who rejoice in the conquest of Lodabar and say, did we not take Carnaim by our own strength? For the Lord God Almighty declares, I will stir up a nation against you, Israel, that will oppress you all the way from Lebo Hamath to the valley of Arab. This is what the sovereign Lord assured me. He was preparing swarms of locusts after the king's share had been harvest, harvested and just as the late crops were coming up and coming up when they had stripped the land clean, I cried out, Sovereign Lord, forgive. How can Jacob survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. This will not happen, the Lord said. This is what the Sovereign Lord showed me. The Sovereign Lord was called for judgment by fire. It dried up the great deep and devoured the land. Then I cried out, Sovereign Lord, I beg you, stop. How can Jacob survive? He's so small. So the Lord relented. This, this will not happen either, the Sovereign Lord said. This is what he showed me. The Lord was standing by a wall <coughs> that had been built true to plumb with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line, I replied. Then the Lord said, Look, I am setting a plumb line among my people, Israel. I will spare them no longer. The high places of Isaac will be destroyed, and the sanctuaries of Israel will be ruined. With my sword, I will rise against the house of Jeroboam. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos is r raising a conspiracy against you in the very heart of Israel. The land cannot bear all his words, for this is what Amos is saying. Jeroboam will die by the sword, and Israel will surely go into exile away from their native land. Then Amaziah said to Amos, Get out, you seer. Go back to the land of Judah. Earn your bread there, and do not do your prophesying there. Don't prophesy anymore at Bethel, because this is the king's sanctuary and the temple of the kingdom. Amos answered Amaziah, Amaziah, I was neither a prophet nor the son of a prophet, but I was a shepherd, and I also took care of sycamore fig trees. But the Lord took me from tending the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people, Israel. Now then, hear the word of the Lord, you say. Do not prophesy against Israel. And stop preaching against the descendants of Isaac. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city. And your sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Uh, by the sword, your land will be measured and divided up. And you yourself will die in a pagan country. And Israel, Israel, Israel will surely go into exile Israel I don't know yeah away from their native land I think that's Israel Israel this is what the sovereign lord showed me a basket of ripe fruit what do you see Amos he asked a basket of ripe fruit I answered then the lord said to me the time is ripe of my people Israel I will spare them no longer. In that day, declares the sovereign Lord, the songs in the temple will turn to wailing. 
Many, many bodies flung everywhere. Silence. Hear this, you who trample the needy, and do away with the poor of the land. Saying, when will the new moon be over? That we may sell grain, and the Sabbath be ended. That we may market wheat. Skimping on the measure. Boosting the price and cheating with dishonest scales, buying the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even those sweepings with the wheat. The Lord has sworn by himself the pride of Jacob. I will never forget anything they have done. Will not the land tremble for this and all who live in it mourn? The whole land will rise like the Nile. It will be stirred up and then sink like the river of Egypt. In that day, declares the sovereign Lord, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. <clears throat> I will turn your religious festivals into mourning. M mourning. Like, yeah. And all your singing into weeping. I will make all of you wear sackcloth and shave your heads i will make that time like morning for an only sun and the end of it like a bitter day the days are coming declares the sovereign lord <coughs> when i will send a fam famine through the land not a famine of food or a thirst for water but a famine of hearing the words of the lord People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from north to east, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it in that day. The lovely young women and strong young men will faint because of thirst. Those who swear by the sin of Samaria, who say, as surely as your God lives, Dan, or as surely as the God of Beersheba lives, they will fall, never to rise again. I saw the Lord standing by the altar, and he said, Strike the tops of the pillars so that the thresholds shake. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys in the next Bible reading. Bye.